and so let me just say thank you so much Hrithi. Yeah. Hi Sophia, how are you? Hi, good. I'm good. Hi, how are you? See all of you today. I want to pick up right where we left off yesterday. We were talking a little bit about the discipline formula, and I want to carry that over into multiple polynomials today. Just like on Monday, you have like a piece of paper here and a pencil, and you can write down some of together. I think that would help a lot. Okay, so yesterday on Monday, we were a little bit uh, multiplying with the distributive function. I want to take this into my thing. Can you guys see uh, number 26? Give me a thumbs up if you can see 26. Okay, good, good. All right, so in number so negative times a positive, you get a negative. So I'm multiplying this way. Negative three times one, negative. Negative three times three x over negative times a negative can be positive. And then I still have two x here. Add that. Combine my like terms. My 9x and my 2x go together. I get 11x. And I bring the negative And now the whole thing is complete. Okay. Now, one thing I want to try that's a little bit different than what we did on Monday. I'm going to actually mute you. I don't want you to think that when I do this that you can't ask a question. If you look at the bottom of the screen, it should be like a chat thing and a place where you can raise your hand. And I'm going to pre uh, periodically stop what I'm doing and just mute all of you. I can hear you if you have a question, okay? But otherwise, what you hear is a lot of the background sound on everyone's and um, you get a little bit of feedback and you get a little bit um, big screen, okay? So I am going to, at this time, mute some of you. Okay. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> it'll be a little bit easier for me to hear you, for you to hear me, okay? You hear there's less background sound. <laughs> okay. Now, this isn't for the whole class. This is just while I teach, like, a few questions, and I'll unmute you and, and ask you if you have any feedback, okay? So we're on number 28 here. Just do a thumbs up if you can see 28. Give me a thumbs up if you can see it. Okay, good. All right, so I'm looking at number 28 down here. And even though there's no number here in front of this negative sign, just like on Monday, imagine there's a number one there. 
So this is really negative one times negative eight, and that becomes positive eight. This is really negative one times four p, so that becomes negative four p. And I still have this number over here, and I'm just gonna bring it back around so I can simplify the whole equation. So I still have this negative three p. Remember, like terms are numbers that have the same variable, and if they have the same variable, they can't have an exponent, or they have to have the same exponent for you to add or subtract them. So negative 4p and negative 3p, they don't have an exponent, but they have the same variable, they have p. So I can put those together. So this would become negative 7p, and this is positive 8. So always look to the left side of a number to see its value. If there's nothing there, that means it's positive. So that's plus eight, okay? Couple more, then I'll ask you if you have any questions. So I'm multiplying first distributive formula, three times one, I know that's three. Three times eight n is gonna be 24 n. And then remember, I still have this one over here. So I bring it all the way over and I have plus three n. Okay, so now I've got 24n plus 3n. I know that's 27n. And I have this three over here. So I'm gonna say plus three. And that's it, okay? One more, I have three times m for 32. That equals three m. I have three times four, that's 12. And then I'm gonna bring this number over here, this negative one, and see if I can combine it with any like terms over here, so minus one. So I see that this has a variable, but this number doesn't and this number doesn't, so I can, I can combine those. So I'm gonna have 3m plus 11, and that's the whole equation simplified. Okay, and I'm gonna take you guys off uh, mute here. So we can do any questions that you might have. Let me go back and unmute you. All right. How are we doing on that first part? Are we okay? Any questions on that? That's just kind of a review from yesterday. Then I want to go into poly. You okay so far? Yeah. Okay. All right. So this is uh, so this is uh today. Pull this over. So I can see you. Is where you've got um, binomial times a binomial, or what we say multiplying polynomials, okay? And um, we need this tiny um, this equation here, where you've got parentheses a plus b times parentheses b plus b. And when you've got parentheses side by side like this, it's like you're doing three times BC and three times B is BB. But then you also have to multiply on this side. A times C and A times D over here becomes and once you get to this point, you're still looking for like terms. It's a number of variable, it's the next one, and it's the combined them. Right? Let's go back to this. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you can see five. Thumbs up if you can see five. If you, if you can't see it. Thumbs up if you can see five. No? Right.
Okay, so next thing I'd like to show you is to with calling on it, make sure that you're able to write your down. And again, I'm going to mute the rest of you if you can't hear me, okay? Uh, okay. Yes, if you see something, just give me a thumbs up. Okay. Ready? Okay. Ready? Good. Good. Okay, sure. Go back to that. And go to that. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if you can see number five. You guys see number five? Okay. All right. Let's take a look at number five together. So I'm going to start with uh, 2n. I'm multiplying from the outside inside. So I have 2n times 6n. If the variable is the same, then it's going to become n squared. So this becomes 12n squared. And I'm multiplying 2n times 1, and this simply becomes 2n. Okay, so I'm looking at these first two numbers. These are not like terms because one is squared and the other one isn't. I'm going to look at the next number, 2 times 6n here. That becomes 12n. And then I have 2 times 1, and that simply becomes 2. So my like terms in this equation are just the 2n and the 12n. I can't combine the n squared because it has a different variable, and I can't combine 2 because it doesn't have the variable n. So when I simplify this, the 2n and 12n simply become 14n. Leave 12n squared the way it is. Don't change it and then leave two the way it is. So this is your answer to number five. 14n plus 12n squared plus two. Give me a thumbs up if that's okay. Thumbs up? All right. Let's look at number six together. And I'll apply from the outside. 4n times 2n, that's gonna be 8n squared. 4n times 6, that's going to be 24n. Then I'm going to look at the next number. I have 1 times 2, that's going to be 2n. And then I have 1 times 6, and that's just going to be 6. Okay, just like in number 5, your common numbers of 24n and 2n. So if I combine my like terms, that's going to become 26n. 6 stays the same. And then 8 squared stays the same. 8n squared stays the same. And that's your simplified polynomial for number 6. OK? All right. Here's number 7. I'm going to multiply from the outside 8, or x times 6x, and I'm going to get 6x squared. Remember, if you just see a variable like x, there's really a 1 in front of it. That's like saying 1x. I'm going to multiply the next number. I have x times negative 2 becomes negative 2x. Then my second number to distribute is negative 3 times 6x negative 18x. And then I've got negative 3 times negative 2, and that's going to become positive 6. So now my like terms are my x's, my negative the 6 stays the same, and where it stays the same. It has no like terms. Okay, I'm just going to come back over here. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Okay. Anyone have any questions? That first one. Are we all right? Uh, yep. Yeah, are you okay? I can't really see you. Is your camera not working? Uh, yes, no, it's okay. Okay. All right. All right, well, let's go on to number eight then, all right? Okay. I'll pull this over here. Okay, here's number eight. I'm going to distribute that over to 
that's going to become 6 times 8 is 48 e squared. And then I have 8 e, I'm going to distribute that to and that's going to become 16 e. Notice these are not like terms because 48 e squared is x minus 16 e. Then I'm going to distribute the negative 2 times 6p times negative 12p. And negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4. Now my like terms are 16p negative 12p. So if I combine those, I get 4p. And negative 4 doesn't change. It just stays the same. And your 48p squared isn't going to change. That stays the same. Okay, any questions on that? No, okay, I'm going to and see if you guys can still see what I'm sharing. All right, give me a thumbs up if you can see number nine. Number nine, okay? Okay. This is number nine. I just give you 6p times 5p is 30 squared. I'm going to mute some of you because I'm hearing a lot of backgrounds. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's better. All right. And I'm going to go 6p times negative 8, and I'm going to get negative 48p. OK, and then I'm going to distribute the second pair of numbers. I have 8 times 5, and that becomes 40p. And I have 8 times negative 8, and that becomes negative 64. So on this one, your like terms are your um, numbers with just p. I can't combine 30p squared because it has an exponent. So just rewrite that. It stays the same. And then negative 48 plus 40p is going to be negative 8p. And then just rewrite 64. And that's your simplified polynomial for number 9. And here's number 10. I'm going to distribute 3m times 8m, and hopefully you'll get 24m squared. Then distribute 3m over to 7, and you should get 21m. And then your next pair of numbers to distribute is negative 1 times positive 8m, and that becomes negative 8m. A negative times a positive is a negative. But negative 1 times positive 7, that changes it to negative 7. Then my like terms that look the same are any numbers with just m. So I can put 21m and combine it with negative 8 to equal 13m. Negative 7 stays the same. And 24m squared stays the same. And that's your answer to number 10. OK? All right, give me a thumbs up if you can see number 11. Can you see 11 OK? All right. Yeah. OK. So I'm going to distribute my first number, 2a, to 8a, and that becomes 16a squared. And I have 2a times negative 5, and that becomes negative 10a. And my next pair of numbers to distribute is the negative 1 to the 8. A. So negative times a positive is negative 8a. Negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5. Okay, so numbers that don't have a match would be like my, eight, my 16a squared. So I'm just going to rewrite that. And then uh, my negative 10a and my negative 8a. These are like terms because they just have the same variable and they don't have an exponent. So that would become negative 18a. And then I'm just going to rewrite the 5 because it doesn't have a match. So that should be your answer for number 11. OK, and here's number 12. I've got 5n times 5n. That's going to become 25n squared. And I have 5n times negative 5, and that's going to become negative 25n, OK? Then I have 6 times 5n. That's going to become 30n, positive 30n. And 6 times negative 5 becomes negative 30, OK? 
this poor little dog oh. that you hear, this is my dog, Scamper. He's, he just is starving for attention. And if I don't look at him, he just has the hardest time. Yes, you're a good dog, Scamper. You're a good boy. Calm down. My little Jack Russell. Very sensitive. Okay, so, oh, yes, yes. You're, I can't pet you this whole time. Okay, negative 25 N and 30 N is just going to become 5 N. Negative 30 stays the same. And 25 N squared stays the same. Okay, and notice this uh, negative 25 and 30, this is positive 5 right here. That's positive. And that's your answer to number 12. Let me take you off mute and see how we're doing with that. Make sure everybody's okay. Yes. Okay. Guys, <laughs> okay with that? Okay with that? Um, okay, I'm going to scroll down a little bit. Do a few more of these quick Okay, see number 13, okay? Yes. You guys want me to like um, make it bigger? You want me to magnify it or is it big enough, uh, big enough for you? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to mute you. Again, so. We're just going to look at um, a few more with you. Alex, I need you to take Scamper out. Scamps, go. 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 Out, out, out. Come over here and get him. All right. Um, for number 13, if the whole parenthetical equation is squared, I want you just to rewrite it, OK? So you have 4p minus 1, and then rewrite another pair of parentheses, 4p minus one. I was going to take it off. Okay, so now I'm ready to multiply like any other polynomial. So I'm multiplying 4p times 4p, and I get 16p squared. Then I have 4p times negative one, and I get negative 4p. Then I'm ready to multiply the second set of numbers. I have negative one times 4p. I get another negative 4p. Negative one times negative one. Remember, negative times a negative is a positive. So here, your like terms would be any number with just the variable p. So negative four, negative four, that's going to become negative eight p. The positive one stays the same. Of course, your 16 p squared doesn't change because there's nothing else with the squared variable. So that's your simplified polynomial for number 13. Should look like that. OK. Let's look at number 15. I have 6n. I'm going to distribute that to 6n. I get 36n squared. I have 6n times negative 4, and I get negative 24n. And then distribute your next pair of numbers. You've got 3 times 6n. You get 18n. And then you've got your 3 times negative 4, and you should get negative 12. Okay, like terms on this one is anything that just has an M. I can't do anything with this because it has an uh, exponent, so I'm just going to rewrite 36N squared. I'm going to combine negative 24 and 18N, and that will equal negative 6N. And then just rewrite negative 12 because it has no like terms. And that's your simplified equation for 15. Okay. All right, here's number 14. I've got 7x times 5x, and that's going to be 35x squared. And then I have 7x times 6, and that's going to be 42x. And then I've got negative 6 times 5x, that's going to be negative 30x. And I have negative 6 times positive 6. That's going to be negative 36. Okay? So your like terms here is anything with just an x. This 24 and this negative 30. You can combine those and get um, 12x. Negative 36 has no like terms, so just rewrite it. 
and 35x squared has no like terms, so just rewrite that. And that's what it should look like for number 14. Okay, here's number 16. I'm gonna distribute 8n and 6n first, and I get 48n squared. Then distribute 8n times negative three, and you get negative 24n. Next, distribute one times six n and just get six n. And then one times negative three, you get negative three. Okay, so next step is your like terms. I've got a negative 24 n on this side and I've got a six n over here. If I combine those, I should get negative 18 n. Negative three has no like terms, so just copy it and 48 and squared has no like terms. So that's your simplified polynomial for 16. Okay, we have a few minutes left. I'm gonna see if I can scroll down and do a few more of these with you. Let's look at 17 through 20 together. Okay, for number 17, I have 6K distributed to 5K. That'll be 30K squared. 6k times 5 is just going to be 30k. 5 times 5k is just going to be 25k. And 5 times 5 is just 25. Okay, your second step is to look for like terms. I've got a 30k and a 25k. If I put these two numbers together, you should get 55k. 25 has no like terms, so just copy it down, and 30k squared has no like terms, so just copy that one down. And that's number 17, okay? Here's 18, I have 3x times 4x, that should be 12x squared. And then I have 3x times 3, that should be 9x, right, plus 9x. I have negative four times four x should be negative 16 x. And negative four times three should be negative 12. Okay, now I'm looking for like terms. X squared doesn't go with anything, so just copy that down. 12 x squared. My nine x and my negative 16 x, those go together. So if I combine those, my answer should be negative because negative 16 has a greater absolute value. So that should be negative 7x and then negative 12 has no like term so just copy that down and that should be your answer okay here's number 19 i have 4a times 6a squared now this one's not going to be squared it's going to be cubed because you've got two over here and you've got one over here so you know 4 times 6 is 24 write that down and write a to the third power, or a cubed. Then distribute your next number. You have 4a times negative a. Remember, if there's no number there, it's like there's a one in front of the variable. So 4a times negative 1a would become negative 4a squared. Then I have 4a all the way over here to 2, and that becomes 8a squared. Okay, and I'm gonna to look to the next number. I have two times six a squared, and that's gonna be 12 a squared. I say plus 12 a squared. I have two times negative one a is negative two a. And then my last one is simply two times two, and that's four. Okay, so you've got a couple things that you can combine here. You've got these a squares. I've got negative four a squared, I've got 8a squared, then I've got this 12a squared. So I'm gonna combine all of those. This uh, number by itself, this negative 2a, I'm just gonna rewrite that because that's the only one that just has an a by itself. This four has no like terms, so I'm just gonna copy it down again. But these numbers here in the middle, I can put together. So negative four and eight is gonna be positive eight. Positive eight plus six to 12 is gonna be 16a squared. So I'm gonna write 16a squared. And then this 24, a to the third power, it has no like terms. So I'm just gonna rewrite 24a to the third. 
And this becomes your simplified polynomial for number 19. Kind of a long one. Okay, we're coming up to the end of this lesson. And I just want to unmute everybody and check in with you again, see how you're doing. And um, what I want you guys to say is just this period where there's a few questions together. And then I, you guys work on show and do some independent work. You want to get on tape and um, And I want to show you how I'm doing it. Okay? So as you guys walk in, and they enter your attendance. Function as you're still getting attendance for boot camp, you're still getting attendance for some blood if you're at Ben Davis Ben Davis High School. So they make sure that they ask this time or back in. Um get questions before I end the meeting. Questions before I end the meeting. Are you doing okay? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to see you next Monday and I want to do the next month. I want to look at slope intercept on Monday and Wednesday. So, I can always take photos like if you want any questions again, I can just take a photo of it and just check it out. So feel free to text me and say, hey, I didn't get that. Uh, hey, I didn't get that. Uh, again, my, my phone number for texting is 397-209-2884. Hey, Keith, send me a picture of what we did today. Okay. All right. Yes. God bless you guys. I will see you. Bye bye. 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 <laughs> Have a good day.